Hey little ones, welcome, welcome to this, your fairy tale reading here in your favorite channel, Geek Workshop. The name of the story for today is this, The Shoemaker and the Elves. Are you ready? Let's begin. Once upon a time, there was a shoemaker named Mickey. He was a good and honest mouse, and he made sturdy, handsome shoes for all the people in his small town. But times grew hard, and soon the day came when Mickey could not earn enough to feed himself and his wife, Minnie. Mickey sighed and sat down at his work table. This may be the last pair of shoes I ever make, Mickey told Minnie. He only had enough leather left for one more. Mickey cut the leather into shapes for his last pair of shoes. By the time he had finished cutting, it was late at night. Mickey yawned. You can finish the shoes in the morning, Minnie said. So Mickey left the cutout letter on his work table and went to bed. But when Mickey and Minnie woke up in the morning, the pieces of letter were gone. In their place was a pair of shoes. They were beautiful shoes, neatly sewn, and brightly polished. Mickey put the shoes in the window of his shop. Very soon, a rich customer came hurrying in. I must have those shoes, he cried. He gave Mickey three gold pieces for them. Minnie gasped when Mickey showed her the money. It was three times the usual price. Mickey used the money to buy food and there was so much left over that he bought enough leather to make two more pairs of shoes. That night, he cut out the letter and went to bed early. The next morning, Mickey walked to a shout. Mickey, it's happened again, Minnie exclaimed. Mickey hurried into his workroom. There on his work table were two new pairs of shoes. They were even more splendid than the first pair. Just as before, the shoes sold right away and for a very good price. Mickey took the money and bought enough leather for four pairs of shoes. That night, he cut out the letter and went to bed. Sure enough, in the morning, four pairs of brand new shoes stood in a row on his work table. Each was more gorgeous than the last. By now, the shoemaker was becoming famous. Day after day, many customers came to buy his shoes. Every night, Mickey left the cutout leather pieces on his workshop table. And every morning, he rose to find very fine shoes waiting for him.
Things went on this way for some time. Soon, Mickey and Minnie were doing very well. They made enough gold coins every day to buy plenty of food for themselves, as well as more leather for shoes, and they even donated money to the town. Everyone was, ha was very happy. One evening, Mickey said to Minnie, I wish we knew who has been helping us. We should find out, Minnie said. And so she and Mickey hid behind a curtain in the workshop that night instead of going to bed. At midnight, who should appear but two little elves. They sat down at the work table and began making shoes out of the cut leather. They sew, hammered, and polished. Soon the shoes were finished and the two elves scampered off. Mickey, Minnie said, those little fellows have helped us a great deal. We should thank them somehow. Mickey, Mickey agreed. The poor things barely have clothes. I know, we will make them gifts. And so the next day, the shoemaker and his wife set to work. Mickey sewed two beautiful little sets of clothes and Mickey made two strong little pairs of boots. That night, instead of laying out leather to be made into shoes, Mickey and Minnie put out the gifts for the elves. And then they hid behind the curtain and waited. At midnight, the elves appeared in hurry up to the work table. When they saw the presents waiting for them, they clapped with delight. Mickey and Minnie watched happily as the elves put on their fine new outfits. When they had slipped on their new boots, the elves began to dance. They danced and danced until they danced right out the door. From then on, Mickey and Minnie's shop was always filled with beautiful shoes and it continued to prosper. As for the elves, well, they inspired their friends to lend a helping hand too. And that's, guy, that's it. That's the story for today of this fantastic book. So long. Take care. Bye-bye.